now with Atlanta buys Barranco. Atlanta can buy Barranco Subaru at I-285 and Covington Highway. Help celebrate Atlanta's newest Subaru dealer with savings on every Subaru model in stock. Barranco Subaru, where you'll save hundreds, even thousands. For Subaru savings, selection, and service, Atlanta buys Barranco Subaru. Now open at I-285 and Covington Highway. Is it too late to help our forgotten kids? Tonight at 6. Good morning, everyone. It's 725. I'm Kerry Kilbride with Georgia News. And I'm Guy Sharp with Georgia Weather. 69 degrees currently getting on up to the upper 80s today. Good. Yes. Thank you, Guy. These are stories we're following for you this morning. More arrests are expected today in a drug crackdown in Baldwin County. So far, a GBI task force has rounded up 42 suspects. Another eight people are now being sought. Agents are going door to door in Milledgeville, arresting those named in warrants. Most of those charged are accused of dealing in cocaine. Several Vietnamese teenagers under arrest this morning, charged with a string of robberies in Metro Atlanta and other parts of the South. Gang members are being held by police in South Carolina. They're accused of victimizing Asian communities, often terrorizing restaurant owners. Police say they expect even more arrest. More problems this morning for Clayton General Hospital. A grand jury is recommending a criminal investigation of alleged negligence at the hospital. And it says the hospital's administrator and governing board should be removed. County officials say a probe is already underway. Another warm, sunny morning as commuters make their way to work, many for the final time this week. Here's Keith Callan now with our Friday Sky Traffic Report. Things are in fairly good shape as you make your way into the downtown area. I-20 East and westbound trouble-free, although if you're heading westbound from DeKalb County, that's going to be your heaviest traffic from about Glenwood on in. No major snafus on the connector north and southbound. However, you folks who are going to be leaving the house any moment, I need to warn you again, construction on the connector southbound from William Street and Cortland is going to take up a lot of the right lanes. The traffic has been very congested each morning, so you might want to leave just a couple of minutes earlier. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. I'm I'm Keith Callan in the 11 Alive Traffic Copter. All right, Keith, thank you. In just a moment, what everyone's waiting for, a sneak peek at the weekend forecast. Guy Sharp in person when we come back. Oh, we're telling me if we could find you a pickup with automatic overdrive anywhere this side of Paducah, it'd be $857 more. But when I told GMC Truck I wanted a new Sierra with automatic transmission, they just smiled and said, yep. We got them. And the automatic transmission, no extra charge. Automatic transmission at no extra charge on full-size Sierra pickups at Southridge, Noonan, Greeson, Monroe, Carmichael, McDonough, Carter, Madison, Tom Burns, Rome, or Steve Raymond, Union City. 69 in Atlanta now, 56 at Asheville, 72 still down there at Panama City. It's a warm, muggy morning in the southeast. That ridge of high pressure centered in the Florida coastline is still very strong. However, you can begin to see a few little changes beginning to take place back in the M Mississippi Delta. Thunderstorms beginning to pop up now, one around Pen Pensacola, New Orleans, Lake Charles, down in the coast of Texas. And this system up here in the Chicago area now moving into Michigan and the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Well, it's been going on most of the morning since midnight, and rather heavy thunderstorms are expected in that general area. This is what we're waiting on. Because we do need some water, whether you realize it or not. I know it's a weekend. Hey, you know, I don't write the script. I just tell you what it says. But it's still going to be enough sun today to keep us on the hot side and muggy. But good relief is on the way. Uh, that uh, frontal system will get closer to the Atlanta area by uh, tonight and tomorrow. So we leave you with this forecast. Uh, fair to partly cloudy today with only about a 20 to 25 percent chance of some scattered afternoon showers. High today, 87 then increasingly cloudy during the night, 64 low in the morning, and about a 50 to 60 percent possibility of some more scattered showers on Saturday, high 84. Now those showers will be off and on each afternoon, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but there'll be enough uh, influence of the sun to uh, keep us without a total rainy day. 329-4500, call it, get the weather. Kerry? Coming up today on Noonday, the Fulton County Jail is scheduled to begin its prison inmate release program today. The county is lowering its jail population to ease overcrowding. We'll have the latest on Noonday at its new time, 1130. Our next news, 825. The Today Show continues in a moment. 
What a weekend. The whole family came visiting. I took pictures of relatives I didn't even know I had. Now, with all these relatives, I needed great developing, so I looked for the Kodak Color Watch Seal. She uses a Kodak system to check the developing for great color. And she puts every print on Kodak paper. The Kodak Color Watch system. You're going to thank me for it. And so will my cousin. Or, I don't know who it is. This looks like somebody just walked in. Is there new racism in Atlanta? A news extra Monday at 6 and 11. Is it too late to help our forgotten kids tonight at 6? Good Friday morning. It's 25 minutes after 8. And with a look at Georgia News, I'm Jill Becker. And I'm Guy Sharp with Georgia Weather. We've got a few thunderstorms around the perimeter. We'll tell you about it in a moment. Okay. Thank you, Guy. In the news, South Carolina police say they have busted a gang of Vietnamese teens who are believed responsible for a string of robberies, including several in the metro Atlanta area. Police say the gang of teenagers roamed the South victimizing Asian communities. Along with the Atlanta robberies, police say the gang hit some businesses in Alabama. Officials say they expect to arrest at least two more gang members. A crackdown on drugs in Milledgeville has resulted in at least 42 arrests. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office asked the GBI Drug Task Force to help out in the county. The sheriff says drugs are getting out of control in that area. The sweep of a drug-infested neighborhood began yesterday with agents making door-to-door -door arrests of suspected cocaine and crack dealers. Police are looking for more suspects. The Clayton County Grand Jury is recommending changes at Clayton General Hospital. After a review of the situation at the hospital, the Grand Jury is recommending that the administrator and Board of Governors at the hospital be replaced and that the District Attorney's Office launch a criminal investigation into alleged negligence at the hospital. The DA's office says it is, all, it is already investigating problems at Clayton General. And their strike is almost two months old, but Eastern machinists and pilots are continuing their rallying cries to stay off the job until a new management takes over. At a pep rally last night, strikers gathered to renew their call for unity and their vow to keep the airline grounded until Frank Lorenzo is out. But management had a rally of its own last night behind closed doors. They celebrated a new agreement to lease 14 Eastern planes to Pan Am. Management also continues to vow the airline will not be sold just scale down. Well, the weekend is upon us. Sky will tell us whether a wonderful one is in store when we come back. Stay with us. My S15 pickup gets me to work Monday through Friday, but it's best on Saturdays. It's got plenty of room in the extended cab and a smooth ride. It's dependable and it does things a car just can't. I even saved $1,900 on options with a value package. With 4.3 liter power available and the security of rear wheel anti-lock brakes, the decision to buy was even easier. GMC Truck. It's not just a truck anymore. Get 2.9 financing or up to $750 cash back on selected S15 pickups. Skywatch Doppler, 50 nautical mile range, some thunder showers. Well, we told you there was going to be some scattered about today. Uh, there's some right there, I-20 and 285, around oh, possibly south to Cab Mall, up here Bankhead Avenue, it looks like, uh, along in that area anyway, northwest quadrant. So be prepared for the fact they could be popping up off and on during the day. Temperatures around the southeast are still warm for this time of day, this time of year. Uh, and even though most of the sky cover is uh, high cloudiness, uh, there are a few patches of uh, troublesome areas, but the high pressure ridge is still d dominant over the southeast. But it's beginning to show some signs of weakening. They've had a major storm system all morning long going on in the western lakes and the upper Mississippi uh, Valley area. Well, what to expect today, tonight, and tomorrow, and through the weekend? Well, it shapes up pretty much like this. We're going to have an uh, on-again, off-again cloudy day with about a 30% chance that there will be some scattered thunder showers around. Uh, high today still should be around 86 to 87, with a low under increasingly cloudy skies of 64 in the morning. Then cloudy with about a 60% possibility of scattered showers and thunder showers on Saturday. High should be still in the low to mid 80s. Then, even though the shower action begins to diminish a little bit, each afternoon could have some. The temperatures drop down into the mid to upper 70s by Monday and Tuesday, and the lows into the upper 50s as a little bit more comfortable uh, temperature extreme comes into the area. 329 4500, call it, get the weather. Looks good. All right, yes. coming up on the news at 11.30, we'll go live to Cape Canaveral for the launch of the shuttle Atlantis. This could be a history-making journey, and we'll tell you about that at 11.30 on the news. See you then. If you're leaving us, have a good Friday and a great weekend.